Hi folks, how you doing? Welcome back to another one of our short videos. Today I'm going to take you around an audio system which is completed in this little S1. Um, I'm shooting it inside as opposed to outside like I normally do because it's the 2nd of December and it's about one degree outside. So we have taken this little S1 which originally had a Bose sound system and the customer wanted to take it to the next level in terms of sound quality. It's really in his jazz and stuff. So, but criteria of the installation was that nothing must show so absolutely nothing now that causes a little bit of a problem because we want to use the Audison Voce components in here in an ideal world we'd put a freeway setting so we do a six a mid and a tweeter but as you know we can't really put tweeters behind those grills they're too directional as you can see look at them from here it makes a huge difference putting a tweeter behind there in fact I'm not sure the Voce tweeter would actually fit um, but even so, if we're going to put it there, we'd need to put it on an A pillar build. A pillar build would need to expose the grill of the original tweeter and get it somewhat on axis. Um, that was an absolute no-no, so we had to rethink the plan. So what we actually decided to do is to go to a two-way component and get the tweeter in the grill where the original mid used to be. So that way, it's more on axis. It's not behind that horrible restrictive grill, and we can do it with nothing showing. Now, yes. We're going from a three-way set to a two-way set. You may think that's a step backwards, but it's not because of the quality of the components we're using. The two-way orders and voches are a million miles away from the three-way nasty little Bose speakers that are installed in here, which won't be made by Bose anyway. So we've done our usual three-layer soundproofing system. So we've stripped that door right down. We've soundproofed the whole back of the door card. We've soundproofed the whole of the inner skin and we've soundproofed the regulator panel. We've then created some really strong baffles down the bottom, which are machine screwed into the original door or nut and bolted to the door. The Voce speaker is then attached to that with a seal around the outside, so create a custom gasket, which sits up against the back of the door to seal everything as nice as possible. And we've retained the little feature light and stuff around the speaker, which is quite cool. In the back of the car, again, it was really important that nothing showed, so we've achieved that. If we lift this up, we've got a custom subwoofer which we've created here. This is a JL Audio W3 6 inch driver. It's a superb little speaker. It's a speaker that would normally be in an enclosure called a CP106, which is renowned for its capabilities and compact size. This has been custom made. We're really limited with depth, so it's, I can't show you, but it's quite funky what we've done on the bottom of the enclosure. To utilise all of this space down here, the bottom of the enclosure sinks down into the bottom of the sort of floor well of the car, and that was the only way you could get the driver in. But it's all pretty funky as it's done. It's made of 18mm MDF, so it's very, very solid. Um, we trimmed it as well, just for good measure. Um, there was an existing stud about here, so that actually passes through the bottom of the box and that's nut and bolted in, so no holes drilled, but we've got that down really, really secure. Same here, we've made this um, amp rack here, and if you can see, we've retained original fixings through the bottom there. So no need to drill any holes. This is a passive system, not an active system. There's nothing wrong with passive systems. It all depends on, obviously, the budget of the customer. And this was an amplifier that we had in a previous installation for this gent, so we want to reuse it. What we have done is by wired the system, so the passive crossovers are tucked underneath here, and we've run new cables for the mids and the tweeters to the front. Um, here's your little DSP. It's a Hertz H8. Great little bit of kit, doesn't cost a fortune. It's very, very effective and it does exactly what we need it to do in here. Now, because this car is Bose, it's using MOST. So in other words, we've got an optical loop that runs backwards and forwards in the car that carries the data for the audio. So we've managed to utilize this. So you'd never want to take an analog output if you can avoid it, which you can't always, but actually in here you can. So we put a MOST interface and then we've got a Toslink connector here, which brings the audio into the processor directly from the MOST interface or MOST interface, which again is hidden underneath here. Pretty funky stuff. We've obviously done some soundproofing in here just to help kill any resonance and stuff. And here you can see the new power cable and the new fuse, which is just tucked in there. So it's nice and accessible. If you ever need to get to it, the likelihood of you needed to get to it is absolutely almost zero. So there you go. Tuck that away, close the boot and everything completely disappears. So the sound in here, well, it's quite incredible. For a very, very simple system, it, it really is good. Um, probably the main reason why the system is so good or part of the reason is if you're in your hi-fi you know that it's all about the source say the source is the most important part of the system so because we've got a 
pure digital source in here. So it's digital right away from the, the, the music player through the hedge unit out to the back of the car, into the processor. Everything's in the digital domain. So it keeps it just really, really clean. The sound stage is in remarkably high considering where we've got the components, which are slightly lower down than you'd normally want to be. The overall sound is absolutely superb. So hopefully this customer will be very happy when he picks a car up in a little while. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much for watching.